Thanks a lot, you guys. It's all your fault. guys happy monday well as you can see from the video i got myself into a bit of trouble over the weekend and it's all because of you guys and all of your wonderful suggestions you see friday when i enlisted your help on where to put all these coastal items you guys got my head spinning in circles non-stop all weekend and i found myself lying in bed saturday morning unable to sleep with all of your suggestions running through this little noggin. And I was like, oh, she said to move this there and she said to put that there. And so Sunday, it was a rainy day, as you saw, and I thought, go. And I ran down to the basement, started bringing up coastal stuff, started taking all this stuff down in my house. And that is the remnants of it, which you saw. So you may remember that I said I was gonna do a shout out to whoever suggestion I used, but in scrolling through all the comments, there's no way I could just pick one because you all gave me such fabulous ideas and many of you similar ideas. So this is a huge shout out to all of you guys for helping me. You guys are the best. So before we jump into today's video, um, I've got to let you know, I started the kitchen. I started bringing in some blues. I haven't really decorated it yet, but I brought in my stuff and I was kind of plugging and playing. I was starting to play with this last night. I was taking out all the yellow because the yellow was not looking good with all that blue. It just did not look right. There will be a little pop of yellow in here, I think, but that's about it. But what I did decide to do was keep this sort of neutral so that when you come into this area, it flows well with the kitchen that's gonna have lots of um, blue and seafoam green and white and brown and gray and black and deep green. We can't forget green. It's my favorite color in all shades. Alrighty, let's get decorating this hutch for summer. One more thing, you can't shut me up this morning, I'm sorry. Remember, we're gonna be doing coastal farmhouse. So this is gonna be more farmhousey. That is gonna be more coastal in the kitchen. But what is cool about this cabinet or hutch, as I like to call it, it has a built-in chandelier and it has this cool lighting right here on the side and you can make it light, bright, whatever. Love that. The first thing I'm gonna add is this cute little tray. I got this at Hobby Lobby a while back. I'm gonna center this on the shelf. Let's add to it. I'm gonna add this cute little rooster from the at-home store. Love, love, love. And I'm gonna stick it right the rooster. Here. Now I'm gonna add a topiary. Home goods. Now I'm gonna add this cute little pitcher. I hauled this from the at-home store, I guess a week ago or so. Here's some greenery. It's just gonna go on the inside of it. Just like that. And I'm gonna set that here. Now I'm somebody personally that likes a lot of greenery now, if you're someone that doesn't, you know, maybe just add the topiary and put something else in there. I could have popped some like cute yellow flowers in there, but I'm trying to stay away from the yellow with this look. So let's proceed forward. What else should I put in there? 
I know. Okay, the next two items I'm gonna add, I got from a company called LTD Commodities. Now you may recall, I don't know, maybe three weeks into this COVID thing, I was just getting anxious and I'm like, I wanna get, I wanna do an online order. So I searched for literally days for looking for cheap, inexpensive decor to kind of tide me over. Cause I was having um, shopping withdrawals. I'm just being honest, you know? Anyway, did I find cheap and did I find items that I like? But I told you I was gonna hold off on sharing these items because I wanted to see if the quality was good and if it arrived in a decent amount of time. Have to say, I was super impressed. A big box arrived. Um, the items that I got were actually really good quality. I am super impressed. Love what I got. Anyway, I'm not gonna do a haul because I know you guys already think I have issues, shopping issues. And I'll be the first to admit I sure do. I just love decor. Sue me. So I got two of these cake stands and super good quality. First of all, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has this really unique design. It's distressed on the top and around the edges. I don't know if you guys can see. And then the bottom is kind of, you know, it's painted white and it's chippy. And this is like heavy metal and um, so anyway, I love it. So I'm going to, I'm going to put one on either side here. So I'm going to put one there and let me get the other one. Did I mention cheap? Cheap. Anyway, I'm going to put one there. Let's scoot this over a little bit. All right. Michael's a little plant. And then I've got this glass cloche top. I'm gonna put that on top. Whoops, let me get it centered. See, isn't that cute? I love it. All right, let's put it in here. So I've got this big glass, you know, cloche top. And I'm gonna be putting it on this one, but what I'm gonna be adding is some faux donuts. So you guys may remember when I went to my little consignment store, they had uh, faux donuts and in a big basket. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I'm gonna to try to see if I can put these faux donuts. Look how real they look. Anybody hungry for one? I'm gonna put them around this. I hope this will work. So I've got brown ones and I'm gonna put a white one on top. Cute, right? Get the lid, see if it works. Yay. So you guys may remember, I hauled this from the at-home store and I got it on clearance and I'm going to stick it on this shelf and add, I think, some plants. So I have another one of these little plants from Michael's and I'm going to set it right there. And then I have these two little plants also for Michael's and I'm just going to set one on either side. And I think that looks really cute. Let's see if I can shut this. Put that up and scoot that back. So in keeping with a white and bright look, I thought let's use some cake stands. So I've got this one from um, Home Goods. And same with this one. You can see the difference on the sides of them. And I'm just gonna stack them like this. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do one here. Like that, and let me get another one. And then I have this one with a little black bow and 
this one. And I'm also gonna stack these as well. But I'm gonna put this one right here. So that's what it looks like so far. Now over all the other little cake stands, I'm gonna add my, these white, they look like white frosted donuts. And I'm gonna display those on the other side. moving down to the next shelf. This is another item I purchased from LTD Commodities. And um, again, it was super cheap and I think it's super cute. And I'm just gonna set that on the shelf and scoot it back. So on that same shelf, I'm gonna add this big white bowl pretty cool. I got that from Home Goods, and I'm going to add a plant to it. I'm just going to sit it inside. I want it to look really herby. You know what I mean? Like herbs. Next, I have a, you can see the bowl, also from Home Goods. I've got a bowl of faux lemons, and I put a little uh, sprig of a lime in there. So I'm going to set that right over there. Last but not least, let's work on the bottom shelf. Um, this is from my dear friend Jody with Jody at Southern Seasons. She made this and look at the detail. What I love about this is the crackled finish look on it. And then she put this cute bow and I just love it. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom shelf cause I have the height to do it. And let's add to it. I'm gonna add this in the center for texture. Next up, I'm gonna add this cute little trunk with chicken wire. And to this, I've added faux apples and pears. And I'm gonna set that in the center there. Next up, you guys know how I love chickens and roosters, so why not throw another one in the mix, right? I got this one on Amazon. I'll link it in the description box below. Actually, I got two. What, they have two different types. Um, but I'm gonna put this one on the other side and uh, that'll call it done. So I feel like that little picture right here needs a little something something. So I just went and grabbed some of this Hobby Lobby and I think I'm gonna stick it in here. going to wrap up this little video today. I hope you enjoyed watching me style my little Adams family hutch for summer. I'm sure this will change maybe one more time, maybe two, who knows. I'm always changing things up around here, but I really like the light and bright and fresh look and I think it turned out super cute. 
So come back and see me Wednesday because we're gonna be starting in on the kitchen in the coastal look and feel. You're not gonna wanna miss it because it's gonna be so cute, so cute. Got lots of ideas. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you once again for all of your fabulous suggestions. Oh, I've got lots coming for you guys, so stay tuned. Have a good one, and I will see you Wednesday. Mwah. Love you guys.